Well, just six days, Ohio's Republican voters will decide who will appear on the GOP ballot in November in the race for the United States Senate. Yeah, Cleveland businessman Bernie Marino, State Senator Matt Dolan, and Ohio Secretary of State Frank LaRose are in a heated race, all three hoping to challenge Democrat incumbent Sherrod Brown in the general election. NBC4 teamed up with Emerson College and The Hill for a new poll that is being released today. Colleen Marshall has your first look at the results in the Republican Senate race. Isn't all those political ads, is it voter research? Something is behind a shift in poll numbers in the Senate race. The candidate who was in third place is now on top. When asked who are you likely to vote for in the Republican Senate primary, Matt Dolan pulled in more than 25% of the likely vote. Bernie Marino is in second at 22%. And although he at one time led the polls, Frank LaRose is far back at just under 16%. Dolan just this week picked up endorsements from former Senator Rob Portman and from Governor Mike DeWine. Marino is backed by former President Donald Trump and current U.S. Senator J.D. Vance. But with less than a week to go, what is most surprising is that a third of the voters in the poll are still undecided. We found that undecided voters are, more, are mostly younger folks. And when I say younger, I mean under the age of 60. Uh, and slightly more women are undecided than men. So there's certainly space in this race uh, to... Uh, you know, for, for one candidate to pull ahead, um, I think, you know, there's still a little bit of work to do there, especially with those voters who are under 60 who may not have tuned in to uh, the primary yet, um, even though it's coming right up. What both major parties will pay attention to is the results of three hypothetical races. The respondents were asked to reveal how they are likely to vote in head-to-head matchups between each of the Republicans and Democrat Sherrod Brown. If the election were held today, Brown would win against each of the GOP candidates, 37 to 34 percent against Matt Dolan, 38 to 32 percent against Frank LaRose, 38 to 34 percent against Bernie Marino. Remember, those results are hypotheticals. And as we get closer to Election Day in November, you will be bombarded with campaign and attack ads. The Ohio Senate race is considered to be one of the most important in the nation and could decide the balance of power in the new year. We will follow it here at your local election headquarters. Local for you, Colleen Marshall, NBC4. Interesting numbers indeed. A reminder, early voting is underway in Ohio's primary election. In-person early voting runs through Sunday, March 17th at your county board of elections office. Election day, March 19th, polling locations across the state will be open from 6.30 a.m. to 7.30 p.m. And those absentee ballots must be postmarked by March 18th.